Special Forces Commander Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the Bahraini Royal Guard team winning the military boxing championship title after defeating the British Army Team 6-2 in the championship held in the United Kingdom. Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid also congratulated the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, among adding that this achievement reflects the unlimited support given by His Majesty the King to Bahraini sports, the tireless efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in supporting the sports movement, as well as the keen interest of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the follow-up of Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for all athletes from the Bahrain Defense Force. His Highness Sheikh Khaled praised the sporting achievement which reflects the great development of Bahraini boxing and the clear progress achieved by combat sports in general. His Highness wished the Royal Guard team further progress and success. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Authority of Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Member of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the fourth race of the 2024-2025 season was held for the Bahrain Bourse Cups at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club track in Arrafa. The race was also attended by a number of their Highnesses, representatives of the race sponsor and horse racing enthusiasts. The competitions took place amidst an atmosphere of excitement and enthusiasm in which the horses competed for the Bahrain Bourse Cups, which are presented for the first time in the history of horse racing within the framework of the new partnership between the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and the Bahrain Bourse. The winners were crowned with the Bahrain Bourse Cups, where the CEO of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, presented the eighth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa, the fifth round cup to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al bin Isa al-Khalifa, and the third round cup to Sami Abdullah Nas. The chairman of Bahrain Bourse, Abdul Karim Bouchiri, handed over the cup of the seventh round to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa al-Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Sultan al-Din bin Mohammed bin Salman al-Khalifa received the cup of the first round from Chief Operating Officer of Bahrain Bourse, Abdullah Abdeen, while His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cups of the second and fourth rounds from Abdul Karim Bouchiri. The race included eight rounds. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rajid Al Ziyani, met in Rabat with the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk on the occasion of the Human Rights Council meeting hosted by the Kingdom of Morocco. During the meeting, aspects of joint cooperation between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Human Rights Commission were discussed in various fields related to the protection of human rights and freedoms and ways to enhance and develop it to achieve the desired goals. In addition, the most prominent achievements within the National Human Rights Plan 2022-2026 were reviewed, which constitutes a roadmap for enhancing human rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Both sides also exchanged views on a number of regional and international issues, developments in the Middle East and the humanitarian conditions suffered by civilians and refugees, as well as the result of the war on the Gaza Strip and southern Lebanon. The meeting was attended by the ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Morocco, Khaled bin Salman al Msallam. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, participated in the United Nations Human Rights Council retreat. In his remarks, Dr. Azayani emphasized that Bahrain places the protection and promotion of human rights as a central priority in its domestic and foreign policies under the leadership of His Majesty the King and supported by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
The minister noted that during the Arab summit hosted by Bahrain in May, His Majesty the King presented five key initiatives adopted by Arab leaders which focus on fundamental human rights, including the right to life, dignity, education, health, and knowledge. Dr. Azayani underscored that His Majesty the King recognized the severe suffering caused by prolonged conflicts in the region. Dr. Azayani added that His Majesty the King has repeatedly called for an end to these conflicts and for comprehensive, sustainable peace to ensure global security, stability and prosperity. The minister highlighted Bahrain's five initiatives adopted at the summit, which are the resolution of the Palestinian issue through a proposed international conference to achieve a two-state solution and establish an independent Palestinian state to secure just and comprehensive peace. He also commended the Saudi-Norwegian European initiative to build a coalition for achieving the two-state solution. The second initiative involved a directive for foreign ministers to engage counterparts worldwide to expedite the recognition of Palestine as a sovereign state and support its full UN membership. Recent progress includes recognition by Spain, Ireland, Norway, Slovenia, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados and the Bahamas. The third initiative called for providing educational opportunities for those deprived from formal schooling. Dr. Azani noted the devastating impact of ongoing regional conflicts on millions of young people. The fourth initiative focused on improving healthcare services for those affected by regional conflicts, enhancing pharmaceutical and vaccine production in Arab countries, and ensuring treatment availability through cooperation with the Arab League, the World Health Organization, and Bahrain. The fifth initiative emphasized advancing collaboration in financial technology, innovation, and digital transformation to create an environment for developing cutting-edge financial services and products. Dr. Azayani concluded by affirming Bahrain's commitment to implementing these initiatives outlined in the Bahrain Declaration issued at the Arab Summit and underscored that Bahrain has already begun taking necessary steps to follow up on these initiatives. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met with Special Advisor for International Disability Rights at the U.S. Department of State, Sara Minkara. The minister reaffirmed Bahrain's commitment to strengthening strategic cooperation and partnership with the United States, particularly in transportation, maritime, and aviation navigation and telecommunications. He emphasized the mutual benefits such collaboration brings to both nations and their peoples. The minister also highlighted the ministry's efforts to develop public facilities and services that cater to the needs of all members of society, including empowering persons with disabilities to access transportation benefit from modern communications technologies and utilize essential tools. These initiatives align with Bahrain's policies, legislation, and the national strategy for the rights of persons with disabilities. For her part, Ms. Mankara commended Bahrain's dedication to strengthening cooperation with the United States in the field of disability rights. She praised the Kingdom's efforts to upload, uphold and promote human rights and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The ambassador to the Netherlands and permanent representative to the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, OPCW, Abdullah Faisal Jabr Adosari, based in Brussels, participated in the 26th annual meeting of national authorities held at the OPCW headquarters in The Hague, Netherlands. The event brought together numerous government representatives from member states responsible for implementing the Chemical Weapons Convention, CWC, at the national level. The meeting aimed to assist member states in strengthening and building their national capacities, sharing experiences, and coordinating the exchange of information and expertise related to the implementation of the CWC. These efforts seek to raise awareness about the importance of the ban, strengthen the national capacities, and improve legal frameworks to ensure the effective implementation of the convention and its objectives. Bahrain has won the bid to host the 17th edition of the Arab Games, scheduled for 2031. The announcement was made during the 22nd General Assembly meeting at the Union of Arab National Olympic Committees held in Jordan and chaired by the President of the Union of Arab National Olympic Committees, Prince Abdelaziz bin Turki bin Faisal. Bahrain's delegation to the meeting included the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Board Member and Director of Arab and International Relations and Olympic Solidarity, Fajr Jassim, and the Executive Director of Operations, Ahmed 
عبد الغفار The Kingdom of Bahrain has a suitable environment for organizing various sports games and tournaments at all levels due to its administrative, technical and legislative environment in the sports field. Bahrain has succeeded in organizing many sports tournaments and has received wide acclaim from various sports federations. The Kingdom is moving forward with its ambitious vision to establish a solid foundation for sports the foundations of which were laid by His Majesty the King, reflecting, reflecting His Majesty's firm belief that investing in sports is an investment in a better future. The belief has been strengthened by the initiatives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his unlimited support to the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a major destination for major international sporting events. Based on this, royal support, the administrative, technical and legislative environment that the sports sector possesses and with the direct backing of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and the continuous follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, Bahrain has been able to achieve various sports achievements at all levels. The Kingdom has succeeded in organizing many competitions and events in various local, regional and international sports tournaments and games, the latest of which was its organization of an exceptional session of the international school games and in a new sporting achievement, the Kingdom of Bahrain won the bid to host the 17th edition of the Arab Games in 2031. The sports gatherings that the Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to attract and organize reflect its firm belief in the importance of sports and its effective role in communication and rapprochement between different people.